<laughs> I've never heard these noises come from a man. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And I'm Mike. Bloody hell, we've got Mike Brewer again. <laughs> we just can't get rid of him, can we? <laughs> anyway, this week we are going to do a challenge video with a difference because our friends at Autoglim have challenged us to buy a car, summer fun, with a maximum budget of £1,000. And they've also said, with that £1,000, any profit that we get when we flip it in the next episode, we get to keep. So if we buy a car for £700, we spend like hundred pounds and we sell it for, what do you reckon, like five grand? Something we, like that. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> then we get to keep all of those proceeds, which is going to be awesome. Let's get cracking with that. It's going to be a long day. And we've actually coined a new term for this challenge video. We have, hold out your grand. That's a, uh, hold out your grand. So let's do it. Right, so now what we've got to do is we've got to find a car. And remember, it needs to be fun. It needs to be something where we can show off a nice colour. What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Well, it's yeah. going to be a load of little cars out there. I think we're going to be in good shape. If there's not a street KA up there, I'm not playing. <sighs> All right, well, just close your laptop and go home. <laughs> Is a Honda Jazz considered fun? Not that I've ever been in one or near one, even. So he's got a really fun one as well, because it's the auto. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. What you got? Can we go a bit French? I know I said Clio Ooh. and you said no, but what if I said, uh, let's go for a, and it's late as well, 2007 Renault Megane convertible. <sighs> oh. Do we like it, fellas? Look at that. No. That's where where is it? What do you mean, no? Where is it? <laughs> what do you mean, no? You're a man, you, you have <laughs> no opinion on any car that we choose. I found one. It's blue. You know your cars by the colour, yeah. that's good. Do you know, I don't that's mind a street car. Yeah. I think they're actually all right, you know. They've had a little bit of stick in the past for what they are, but they're actually all right. They've got a great little gearbox. The engine's yeah. 1.6 yeah. little one point six. It was a nice zippy engine, great gearbox. They handle beautifully. That looks like quite a clean car. It does look like in a, one of the sounds pictures, great. It's got no grabby ball. And in, <laughs> in an, <laughs> don't say you just called it a grabby ball. <laughs> <laughs> does it have the... Um, Oh, the, um, the, the black and rubbery, and the, the, there's four of them that go on each corner of the car. They're called um, the traction rings. Tr tr traction rings. Yes. Yeah. Does it have those? Yes. I'm going to say high end IQ. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what a machine. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh no, how can you say oh no Such a to great a car. high end like coupe? It's an amazing car. It doesn't matter how amazing or, or bad it is, it's the fact that you love them so much. 65,000 miles again. It's an auto, which I think is good. 2.7 V6. <gasps> 2.7 V6! Red leather interior. Oh, that's cool. The red leather is really kinky yeah, as well. Yeah, I love that's it. That's cool. I, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm going to have to like cancel everything that you found because I've just won. It's a 2007 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Oh, yeah. Yes! We have this conversation on the on the podcast. There is, we know there is never going to be a time in recorded history, and please shoot me if I'm wrong, that people are going to gather around the car park, stare at a PT Cruiser, and say, that's brilliant, that's a classic. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't say there is. Someone sent me a picture of a herd of PT Cruisers. I'm going to throw up. If... At Auto Alex, at Mike Brewer. If... Listened to the CT podcast earlier and reminded me of the PT Cruiser car club I see at the Doncaster Shut Classic. Up. Car show. Not just justifying uh, it, sorry, just saying someone England. made a club. Oh. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> by your reckoning, <laughs> the PT Cruiser is now a future classic. Oh, you can't, no, seriously. That's what you said? No, seriously. King of the car no, deal. No, seriously. They're you your can't, words. Guys, with the greatest respect to you, lovely PT Cruiser owners out there. Uh, I think you're wonderful people, I really do. No, you don't. You but said it, they were bellends. But you, you said you, you wanted to punch the guy in the cock. But, no, the, the designer. <laughs> <laughs> not, not these people. If you've gathered together and met each other in a car park... Oh. Look what someone's done to this MG. Yeah, but look, I can tell you, right, I can tell you from absolute honest experience, if you put stripes or stickers on it, that car is faster now. I've got f all. I'm, I'm failing at the moment. <laughs> I'm not going to get a job on Wheel of Doom or something. No, you're not. I think I've found the ultimate car for under a grand, and this is quite possibly the best car you could possibly buy for under a grand. 2001 Ford Puma 1.7. And this car is designed by a good friend of mine called Ian Callum. And that car is advertised for just 995. You're admitting one thing though. Yes, what am I admitting? Where is it? It's um, just up the road. In, uh, just up the road, it's only in Scotland. 
Hell no! <laughs> right, Jack, you look really excited about I'm something. excited about this. It's another 206. I've just glanced at it. Oh, oh what? that's filthy. I love it, actually. I that's think it's cool. That is fun. I think that's fun. That's <laughs> cool. I ventured off in a different direction, chaps. Oh, where I are we ventured, going? I've gone to the classic car world. I know it's not your bag. And that's you don't, new. You don't do that, but um, I think there's some really interesting classic cars out there. What I tend to do to find my classic cars for TV, and a lot of people always ask me this, where do you go for your cars? Uh, it's really simple. I join the owners clubs. The owners club is the best place because A, you're going to find out a lot about the car that you're interested in and know whether you're doing the right thing. And B, nine times out of 10, when you're in an owners club forum and you're saying, hi guys, I'm interested in buying the Triumph TR7, you're going to get, you know, 20 Jeffs saying, make sure you check this, make sure you check that. But you will get somebody go, did you know Dave is selling these TR7? He's a member here. And you're likely to find the car that you're looking for within a car club. And also, if they're part of a car club, the chances are very high that they're enthusiastic that they're gonna, they're gonna look after it as well. Of course, yes. Well, I have found what we're gonna get. Oh, yeah. talk to me. It's a Perodua Canari. Canari? Yeah, that means it Canari do anything. <laughs> that is, that's a good looking car, that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard these noises come from a man. <laughs> Bring a car to the market called the Canary. <laughs> Can you imagine that meeting? I'll do it by countdown. I'll have a vow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a continent. No, please. <laughs> continent, please, Carol. Just found this, which is absolutely bloody fantastic. For little more than £800, you can buy yourself an Audi 80 Cabriolet like fi it. final yes. edition. That is great. That shout. is a great shout. Isn't that just an amazing car? Service book is completely stamped by Audi, MOT in September the 20th. Can I also say something else, right? And this is really important because there's a lot of stuff that people need to be aware of. When you're going to buy a car, no matter what price point it's at, whether it's this Audi or whether it's a Clio or whether it's a street car, when you're looking at the pictures of the car, also look at the surroundings. And the reason I say that is because I'm just gonna go back to the picture of the Audi. Just look how nice the house is behind. Yeah, it looks like private driveway as well. Private driveway, yeah. nice house, bay windows. Little things like that make a whole heap of difference. I think we should start making some phone calls now. Stop the calls that. Before that. They should go and watch the podcast with Mike. They should. Because we we've done a podcast with Mike. Came out a few days ago, podcast with Mike. Go check it out on YouTube, also Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever else you like to listen. It's a good one. If only for some of the crazy batshit stories. Are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm listening to what you're saying about me. I love it, I love it. Let's make some phone calls. Let's do that. Well, it's a dealer. How much is the car? 794, what, what do we want? 794, so that's 794? Yeah. Random. So uh, dealer speak, you're gonna go, uh, all right, mate, you take a Nevis for it. It's dealer speak, isn't a it? A Nevis? Nevis, yeah. What's that? Seven backwards, isn't it? Oh. If you're going to six, you go, I've only got a Tom Mix for it, mate. He's a car dealer. I've got Tom Mix, that's all I've got. In Tom Sky Mix. I've got Skyrock, in my Skyrock, I've got a Tom Mix. I can't do that. A Tom Why Mix? Not? Tom a Mix? Tom Mix. Tom Mix it. 20 by six. Hello, is that um, Power Drive Cars? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Is he... I can't hear you, sorry, the line's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Call back to me about 20 minutes, please. Okay, all right. Thank okay. You. Thank you. That was your favourite street car. You've got two of them, though. You've got, We've got one. a grey one as go well. On, go for the other one. Bornbrook Motors. Oh, it's another car dealer. 575. Right, so it's a monkey. Of course it is. Yeah, what's the 400? Uh, 400 is a roof. A ro what? Roof. Why roof? And what, and what's Come on. If a Nevis is seven. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. So car dealers can have that conversation or watch dealers or uh, tick tick tack men when you're uh, doing it at the bookmakers. But if you're having a conversation in front of somebody oh. and you don't want that person. And if you're one tick tack man uh, at the horse races talking to another tick tack man about lowering the odds, you don't want to say it in front of the crowd. Yeah. It's a coded language Whoa. and it's really good. And car dealers have used it traditionally. So when you phone this guy up, offer him a monkey. <laughs> will, you take a, will you take a monkey? Mike Brewer is watching you. I'm, I'm really impressed so far. Hi, yeah, I'm calling about the uh, Street KA you've got. All good, is it running okay and no? It hasn't arrived yet, it's due in 
the day after tomorrow. It's supposed to be coming in tomorrow, but it's going to be the day after tonight. It's coming in probably the day after tonight. Uh, okay, no worries. Yeah. I just need something tonight. Not not problem. Right, so the only one that I actually have a number for, and I have had a really good look through the pictures, there are a few issues with the car. Right, please. Here we go. Come on. <gasps> he f hung up on Mike Brewer. I'm going to bring it again. Oh, Mike. You're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I try this trick here again? Yeah. Go on. Hello, Hello mate. I'm just calling about the street, KA. It runs and drives absolutely superb. The only issue it has is it has a crack in the windscreen. Would you, um, if we did come, would you take a Nevis for it? Take what, sorry? A Nevis. That? Sorry, so that's 700. Oh, 700. Are you just up for today? I'll tell you the reason why. I took it in part of exchange a few days ago, and I don't think I've had the logbook come back yet. If I haven't got the logbook, you might not be able to tax it. Well, I'll call you back, yet. Yeah. Virtual high five. I'm nervous. You I'm had nervous. to say it twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Try the alley one more. All right. Don't f me over. You f yeah! what? Potentially. Oh, oh my oh, God, God, shut your mouth. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hello. Hello, yeah, I'm really sorry to disturb you and it's been me calling you. It's him. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. Um, it's just that I, I need to uh, secure a vehicle this evening and you've got an Audi 80 for sale. Um, what's your name? It's John. Hello, John, I'm Mike. Um, so what can you tell me about the car, John? The, the advert's pretty descriptive. It's also on um, Gumtree and there's a lot more. Right, okay. Well, we'll have a look on Gumtree as well. I've just found them, actually. We've just found the photos on Gumtree. I wish I never said, to be honest with you, uh, John, because now I'm going through them, I can see the amount of lacquer that's peeling off on the uh, offside door as well. And, uh, I've tried to be honest. You have. Yeah, you have. You have. Well, I think the paintwork probably is a little bit too much and uh, the damage is probably a little bit too much for us in terms of the budget we've got. In that case, I don't think it's one for us. What would be the bottom you would take for it, just in case I, I do want to come back to you? You're not the guy off the telly, are you? I am. I thought that's uh, recognised your voice. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I, I do appreciate the, uh, the conversation, uh, John, and I do wish you all the well in, in selling the car. Uh, and thank you for being so honest with your description, but I think it's going to be just too much money for us. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers then. Bye-bye. What a shame. I think at four, maybe £500, you know, that car will be a free grand car at one point, but at four, £500, uh, there's, a, there's a chance in it. But I think... Um, uh, giving any more for it would be too much of a gamble. Sorry, guys. No, that, that was amazing. Oh, that was like, thank yeah. you for trying. Just for the lesson in how to actually chat to people. It's yeah. like, before you even talk about the car, it's like, what's your name? That's like, it's just such a yeah. small thing that we've never thought We're about. just so used to, does it stop, does it drive? <laughs> yeah. I've got cash, I can come yeah, to that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so looks like we can't get the Audi because there's just too much work in it. We've just seen the pictures. Um, the Ford car, convertible, street car, doesn't have the logbook, the guy, so we can't tax it, which means it would be illegal for me to drive it home. So we're going to call it for tonight, but join us, join me tomorrow. Hopefully I'll find something cool. And then I'm going to reveal the new purchase to Jack and Ethan. I might even video call you as well for a bit of advice. Yeah, please, yeah. I'd love to have a walk around. I'll see you tomorrow. Kick it! Right then, it is now the next day. You join me back on my sofa and I've been searching this morning. I've had street KAs pretty much on the brain all night. I was thinking, I have to get one because Ethan, he's gonna lose his mind. I also sent Mike this advert and it looks like quite a tasty little one. His answer was, Ethan will be tugging himself. So I think if Mike thinks it's gonna be a good car, then it's gonna be a good car, right? Quite a lot of work done to it recently, apparently. It passed the MOT, 9th of June, 2020. There are a few little things. Near side front subframe mounting prescribed area is corroded, but not excessive and same on the other side as well. So I need to check out that rust, make sure it's not dangerous. Uh, it also failed uh, last month on quite a few things. Front coil spring, rear coil spring. So I need to be Detective Kirsten and I need to try and figure out if everything that should have been changed has been changed. And I might also have to give Mike a quick call and just see what he thinks. Anyway, 
let's go have a look at the car. Right, Mr. Mike Brewer, I'm with a car here. Yeah. I'd like you to have a quick look around with me. Oh, a street car. A That's going to make you so happy. What's the first thing we're well, looking for, Mike? The first thing that I can see, it looks very, very sharp at the front. A uh, little thing, Alex, can you show me the front? Number plate, there are garage written underneath it. Furrows of Shrewsbury. Right, back quickly nip round the back and show me the number plate at the rear. Furrows of Shrewsbury. Hey, well that's a little indication, Alex, you're looking at a very good car because it's still got the original plates number front and back. Yeah. It means it's likely it's in an accident, either front or rear, and had the number plate changed. So that's a really good little telltale. The paintwork looks absolutely incredible. It looks really nice. The yeah, so there's there's one th there's one thing to know about the paintwork. I don't know if you can see it properly, but here it's had a dent and someone's tried to pull it out, but very badly. That's what I'm guessing has happened here. Can you get under the bonnet and just check? Uh, All the interior is nice. Yeah, black leather, no uh, no tears or anything. Looks quite happy. All right, let's have a little butcher's. Okay, can you look down at what they call the chassis leg and just make sure that the neck which the engine is sitting on is straight and it's not buckled in any way. It looks all right. It looks like there's a bit of a uh, surface rust on there and there was a bit of rust on the uh, on the MOT, but it's uh, it wasn't a fail. No, that, that actually doesn't look too bad. You know, it might be one of those dents where somebody's attempted to pull out and, and paint on their driveway and just made a bit of a big zero of it. So maybe, if you can get a little bit of money off it, something you can do again properly. Also a thing to note, Mike, is the uh, front tires, both front tires, they're gonna need to be done soon. Yeah, little dents here, little dents here, little dent there as well, but you know, age related, I'd say. Yeah, but the good news there is, there's three dents on the same panel, and most um, smart repairers will come out and charge you once. They're in the same panel. So, Mike, it's up for 795 it needs tires needs a little bit of work so long as it drives straight and there's no no knocks or anything like that i'm quietly confident that we've got ourselves uh, our winner and also it's going to make ethan very happy as well i reckon it's going to cost 150 quid for the paintwork 100 pound for uh, two tires i think the car's up to 795 i think your starting point is 650 yep uh, and can end up at seven. I might, I might try six. Can I tell you two things, Alex? Be very complimentary about the way it's been used and driven, and how nice it is. Yep. And undermine that uh, that complimentariness uh, by telling them it needs tyres, it needs a dents doing, it needs that paintwork. Let me know what happens if you're not behind the wheel of that driving it home. I think I'll be well a shade disappointed. Ah, All right, I'll see what I can do, Mike. I'll do you proud. All right, Mike reckons it's a goer. Obviously, I need to make sure mechanically it's sound and it drives all right. But he's right. I need to spend about 200 quid. I'm going to start 600 pounds and see what he reckons. Right, so I've just agreed 590 pounds with the man. Uh, there's a bit of a knock coming from the suspension, so I need to investigate that. Needs two new tyres or hoops, as Mike called them. But I think 590 pounds. I think, Mike, I think I'm right in saying that you're going to be proud of me. So going to do the paperwork and then drive it home. And tomorrow, I'm gonna to reveal the car to Ethan and Jack. Ethan is gonna lose his tiny mind. Let's go into tomorrow. Who gets the point for this? He doesn't get the point. No, nah, we're not counting this one. Maybe we should see the next one wins and reset. No. This is gonna be like the football, which just goes on and on and on <laughs> and on, and no one ever wins all the football. <laughs> Do I recognize that? Right, Ethan. I can see blue. Have a guess. Ooh. Uh, I'm, I have no idea. Turn around. Oh, it is. It's a street oh. car. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Right. I'm made up. You, you bought are. this for me? Well, I haven't bought it for you. Oh. I bought it for the challenge. I went full brewer on this poor guy. Thank you very much, John. I paid 590 pounds. I did. It's good colour, isn't it? It's a great colour. It drives lovely, mate. There is a knock coming from front suspension. The front spring has been done because that one was snapped. The rear one was snapped, so there's something not, not quite right. We're going to investigate that. We need, as Mike says, a couple of hopes on the front. That's tyres. And then we're going to give it a full clean, full detail, inside and out, including the roof. And then we're going to shift it on, flip it, for profit, hopefully. Anyway, let's have a little shifty. You are the king of the street, KA. Yeah. Tell me what you're seeing. Well, what I'm seeing here, Alex, we've got the, um, the blue model, and this is obviously soft top 
Uh, it's no hard top on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but general condition, I mean, it is quite a straight car. There are yeah. occasional little dings and stuff, but the hood is in really good condition as well, which is great. Actually, quick one. Mm -hmm. Try and open the hood for me. See if you remember. First time we had this in, we, we nearly broke it. A, we were there for a while. Though. Yeah. I think I had the phone forward. Sure there's something. Ah. No. Oh. Do these. Ah. Ah. No. Do I have to start, do I start folding? I don't know. What would Jesus do? No. Oh, there we go. We're halfway there. Is that wrong? Well, I mean, you're pushing as hard as you can and it's still not going down, so one would assume it is wrong, yes. Oh, that's it. That's it. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. And that is how you do that. Good job. <laughs> Ethan, you've got to put it up now. It's going to get wet. Oh, oh, do not want your fingers in there. <laughs> Should we have a little look at the uh, engine? Okay. I just want to get you okay with it. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this have some sort of frunk or something here? A frunk? No. 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 I seem to, I thought there was like storage here. But... No, there's, there's an engine. It's not mid-engined. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we know that. I mean, it could have been mid-engined had they designed it that way. Yeah. But... Could be rear-engined. It could. All of those things. Talk me through. What have we got here? Um, Battery. Yes, there is a battery. Um, we don't want any milk, do we? I hope you did this yesterday. I did. I did. Oh. Oh, no, that's fine. Are we okay? Yeah, we're good there. Engine's perfect. Ford messed up. One other thing, okay? Not only the roof. For the boot, when yeah, I show, I'll show you why in a second. There's a little cubby in there, and you can which open, is locked. which is locked. So you can open the boot via the cubby by unlocking the door, or you can press this button. <laughs> Bear with me, caller. Okay, so the key currently not working, so I'm going to have to unlock it from the inside. It's like crystal maze. There oh, we yeah, go. There we go. Oh, that's just huge, isn't it? It's good, right? It's really good. Picture the scene, doing your shopping, okay? Put your key in there, accidentally. You're like, oh, got all my makeup. Close the thing. It pops closed. Yeah. But how do you, how do you get back in? There's no button here. And if you have one key, from the inside it's locked, isn't it? So you can't turn the thing to pop the boot. Oh, yeah. So what do you do? <laughs> four. That's what you do. <laughs> your car's written off because you can't get in the boot. So yeah, big design flaw. Ah. Apart from that, Lovely little car. But yeah, overall very happy with the purchase. Like I said, 590 pounds. I've got 25% off. That's good, and that's for tires, that's for the knock. I think the knock will be quite easy to fix. And a couple of little dings and dents, but engine-wise it's good. Four owners from new. What do you reckon we can get for it? I think we're gonna put this up for like 995. Jack's nodding away. A thousand big ones. A thousand big ones. 10 ton. 10 ton. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get some really good pictures. We gotta get it properly cleaned, and I mean not like not like an amateur clean, but we're gonna go like full auto glim on its ass and make sure that there's nothing that people can pick out on it. And I think we'll be on to a winner. Join us next time, right? Where we're gonna do all the cleaning, all the fixing. Hopefully it won't be raining and uh, hopefully we'll have a buyer. And then I can go up to someone and I can say, all right, you're in. You just bought yourself a straight KA for two grand. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking here. Yeah, right there. Right there. Check out more challenge videos down there. And don't forget the Car Throttle Podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you else you like to listen. Anyway, I'm going to go home. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>